This is a real joy. If you play football for Brown University and you come out of Providence, well, you do things in fixed income. The charm of John Kadunas uh, at Calamos Investment is he's actually done it worried about the bid and the ask. In the spirit of Washington, we're going to ask you to put your right hand up right now and testify <laughs> to the too big to fail yesterday. What did you think of the event yesterday of gentlemen with their hands up and then the, the sparring back and forth of Maxine Water and the too big to fail bank? Well, it was very interesting since uh, we have obviously the IMF, Bretton Woods, the group of 30 going on, and a lot of the uh, people there were supposed to be at the meetings, uh, and they were held up uh, being testified by uh, Ms. Water. So, it, look, um, they're going to have their way at it, and I think that uh, you have some pretty bright people there that are answering the questions pretty well, and they're right. very open as to you know, what's going on in the future. There is across the land a financial repression on a nominal basis, on an inflation-adjusted basis that's not pretty out there. What is the best Kalama strategy right now to find total return, to grab the coupon, and maybe make a little bit more? How do you do that? Well, there's no question, you know, we're, we're in uncharted waters where there's volatility in the markets and our strategies which we've been using for over 41 years have been ones that manage risk very well and that's something that people need to do in these markets uh, it's being able to capture as much of the upside as you can but protect yourself on the downside and for us at Calamos Investments um, our portfolio managers and co-CIOs have done a really good job in performing predominantly more recently in liquid alts if you look oh, excuse at excuse me, what is a liquid alt? Wait, I had a liquid alt last night. <laughs> yeah. Other than that, what's a liquid alt? I'm not sure it's the same liquid alt that uh, you're describing. Maybe it should be. <laughs> but maybe it is. And you know, during these markets, it's sometimes uh, you have to look at those. But liquid alts are um, uh, derivatives in, in terms of some. I'll give you an example of some of our funds, market neutral. We have a, a long short fund. We have an ed hedged equity fund, not just straight long type of, mm -hmm. uh, of funds. That's what liquid alts are. And that they have, in the in case of Calamos, we've used, we've been pioneers in convertible bonds. Right. And that protects you uh, in yeah. terms of the downside and gives you most of right. the upside. If you look at the markets. All right, John, is there anything that the financial markets don't understand, right? What, what caught my eye when a lot of these big Wall Street guys were testifying yesterday mm -hmm. is that a, a lot of the people asking questions brought it back to the financial crisis. Well, frankly, a lot of the chief executives just didn't know what they had in their books. Do, do we know that actually for a fact they know what's in their books today? Well, I think they're much better off today than they were 10, 12 years ago. There's no question. And my previous job, I did one, uh, uh, Mizuho in Americas, which was uh, one of the biggest global banks. And um, like Jamie Dimon, he tries to make sure, even though he did have uh, some things happen uh, in, in, in the UK, do things that you completely understand. And if you can't understand them, if people don't come into your office and can't explain it in 10 minutes, don't do it. And that's kind of been a rule of thumb. And I think that because of the crisis, a lot more people are, are doing that. Now, having said that, markets, people f tend to forget. Mm -hmm. And the, the quest in, uh, for yield in this market, especially when rates are inverted, yeah. you have negative rates in certain continents around the world, continues to put pressure on Wall Street to yeah. come up with different tools that they can get capture yield. And that's why I still think that we have some positive upside in our U.S. equity markets as well. Bill, do you agree with that? We have a much better handle actually on, on what some of these products are. The key is stress testing. The regulators put in stress testing so that even if you don't know what's in there, you know that when the shot, the portfolio shot, it can withstand it. And I think that's the key to keeping a safe banking system is the stress testing and the kind of tortures that they put the, 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 the banks under. Very good. John Codonis, thank you so much. With Columbus. Thank you. Greatly appreciated in his time of low coupon uh, to say... Uh